Hello! In a previous video in this series, I introduced you to SAP Fiori Elements Analytical List page with an application that allows you to analyze sales order data. Today, I'm going to show you how to create one. First, let's refresh our memory of the app I showed you last time so that you can see what we'll be building today. Here is our SAP Fiori Elements Analytical List page. It gives us various data points related to sales orders and allow us to perform different analytical functions on the data. We can also navigate to an object page with more details on a sales order item. In this video, I would like to show you four things. First, we'll create a project in Web IDE with analytical list page template using an existing service that comes with predefined annotations. Second, we'll make some modifications to the application settings. Third, we'll talk about the annotations that are relevant to the KPI card and chart. Uh, last but not the least, we'll modify the annotations to change the, our chart in the KPI card and add a new compact filter. If you have seen the other videos in this series on creating overview pages and this report, this first step will be familiar we are going to use Web IDE to create our app. First, let's open File menu and select New Project from Template. Then we can choose SAP Fiori Element for the category and see the list of templates. We'll select the analytical list page and then click on Next to enter the basic information about our project. Here, we'll need to enter the project name, a title, and a namespace. You also need to enter something in the application component hierarchy, which is often used internally at SAP, but not always used externally. Now, for the data connection step, we're going to specify the backend system and the service that we're going to use with our app. As mentioned before, this service has predefined annotations, so we can choose to include them in our project. Now we're going to choose the entity for the all data collection. And we're going to specify a qualifier. A qualifier is used to apply an annotation to a subset of consumers. In this case, the consumer is the main content area. We'll select analytical table as our table type. We'll not allow multiple select on the table. We'll disable auto hide so that we can see all the records in the table. And we're going to enable the smart variant management. That's all we need to do. So we can click on finish and generate our project. Now we can see that a project has been generated with the required folders and files. Now let's take a look at this app. In the filter area, you can see that the visual filter view is selected by default, and there is no data in the content area until we click on the Go button to retrieve the data. For the table content, the default is to show all records. Let's start making some changes to the setting of the application. First, I would like to enable the auto load so that we do not have to click on the go button to load the data. This is quite simple. We need to edit the manifest file. We need to find the configuration for the page and set the parameter show go button on filter bar. Here is set to true. I'm going to set it to false. Next, we'll add the KPI tag. As you can see, it's currently not in the app. The annotation needed is already part of the service, so we just need to add the settings to the manifest file. This involves making two changes to the manifest file. We'll first add the definition of the KPI tag and then define the model for it. To get started, we'll first need to go to the annotation model 
and select the entity object for the KPI card. We'll create a new annotation file. Now that we have created the annotation file, we can double click on it to go to the annotation model. Here we need to select the target or the entity that is responsible for the KPI card. Now we can see the annotations that are relevant for the KPI card. Looking at the annotations, we can see that the qualifier used is the KPI revenue. With that information, we can now add the setting of a KPI to the page section in the manifest file. Here we are specifying the entity set for the KPI and we are setting the qualifier to the qualifier that is being used in the annotation. In this setting, there is a reference to the model KPI, which provides additional information on how to further obtain the data source and annotations corresponding to this KPI. This property must now be empty, and we must also add it to the list of models in the model section. Now that we have done the changes to the application, we can refresh the app. The first thing you should notice that is that we did not have to click on the Go button this time in order to see the contents in the table. Secondly, we can now see the KPI tag being shown in the application. And when I click on it, I can see the details of the KPI, including the sales revenue and the chart. So far, we have made some changes to the application setting. Let us now take a look at the predefined annotations. The annotations are driving the information we see in the app. You can find the annotations in the annotation model. Let's take the KPI card as an example. The corresponding annotations are relevant to the KPI revenue are the UI chart, the UI data point for the KPI value, and the UI presentation variant with the qualifier KPI revenue. We can now do a side-by-side -side view of the app with the annotation model so that we can see how annotations relate to what we see in the application. Let's expand on the data point annotation. As you can see, the annotation contains reference to the object that will display the KPI value, the KPI target value, and also the deviation. In the UI chart, we can see the annotation that drives our line chart. The chart type attribute is what specifies the type of the chart, along with the title and the description for the chart. You can also see the dimension specified for our KPI value, which is the calendar months. Another important annotation is the UI presentation variant, which specifies how users view the data, including how the values are sorted and visualizations. For visualization, we can see the reference to the annotation UI chart with the qualifier KPI revenue, and we can also see the reference to the data point annotation with the KPI value qualifier. Now that you understand how annotation drive what you see in the app, let's talk about how to make changes to annotations. As example, let's say I want to change the chart type from the line type to a bar chart. To do that, I need to override the predefined annotation. I can do that by clicking on the action icon to the right of the annotation that I want to override. This will insert the annotation under the local annotations, and you'll see a strike through line in the external annotation section. Once I have it under local annotation, I can modify the annotation and change the chart type to, for example, a bar type. In this application, I would also like to be able to filter the data based on the status of the sales order. To do that, we need to find the annotation UI selection field and override it. 
The list of the item in the selection field you see here represent the order of the filter that you see in the application. I would like to add the new filter for the status in the second place. Let me start adding a new item first. Here I'm going to change this one to sales order overall status and I'm going to move the sold to party to the last. From here I'll save my changes and refresh the app. Now when I open the KPI card, I can see that the chart has been changed to a bar type chart. And when I switch to the compact view, I can see that a new filter has been added. And now I can filter based on the status of the sales order. In this video, I show you the process of creating an analytical list page with SAP Fiori elements. You learn how to enable the KPI card and its annotations. You also learn how to modify annotations to change the appearance of a chart. Lastly, we wrapped up by adding a new compact filter. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more tips on getting started with SAP Fiori Elements.